Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And this time I'm demonstrating kind of an unusual unit. Um, this was sent without the faceplate. Uh, I, uh, I asked customers not to send in mint condition faceplates uh, just in case they might get scratched or something during repairs. So uh, that's why this unit was sent without the faceplate. Uh, we can still test it without it, of course. Um, this comes from uh, JR in Springfield, Missouri. Hey, that's my home state. Uh, I've played in Springfield a few times. Um, Springfield, Missouri, and Springfield, Illinois, in fact. Um, and this is uh, an RCA Delco lookalike. It's made by RCA, but it's made to look like a Delco, and it's for a, a 73 Buick LeSabre Custom. Uh, customers requested the modern internal conversion with, uh, with Bluetooth and my master input-output box here that has all your four channel preamp outputs and unpowered subwoofer output and also your aux inputs and so uh, we're here to make sure everything's working uh, before we send her back so let's turn it on got it set to FM at the moment and we'll just run down the dial or leading to that employee situation his brother was time to shop for a rap for Beer. Brad Miller coming up just a f Is that easy to take value 846 Arizona Healthcare to learn more and make an appointment. Hi, it's Joyce with Patrol 4. No hassle. Two. Tried Arch No one else And if you heard someone feeling. Music. K Love. Hey, it's Corey Ad. De Esperanza. Todos los jueves a las 10 de. This isn't live. When I'm not. Okay, let's check our balance control. Balance to the left. Balance to the right. Okay, now on this radio, because the tone control on this radio has such limited travel, there's way, way less than 180 degrees of travel. On the tone control, uh, it's not going to activate the virtual front rear fader function. Uh, that's the case also with some of the uh, 1966 Ford AMA tracks. The tone control just doesn't have enough travel to activate the uh, front rear fader. So we won't have that function. We'll be stuck with equal output between front and rear speakers. Uh, let's go ahead and switch it over to AM. Get the, we get one strong AM station in my area. Excitements would have already flowed right. a long, long time ago. Okay, there's our, um, there's our AM station. Right, okay, let's make sure the Bluetooth goes into pairing uh, mode, which we do by giving the volume control two turns up, upwards. Or whatever you want to call it. Bluetooth ready to pair. Okay, Bluetooth ready to pair. So the unit is now trying to pair with a portable audio device. And of course, I don't do all that on the video. I just make sure it goes into pairing mode, indicating that it's working properly. Uh, let's go ahead and test the A-Track function. Got some Neil Sedaka here. Nice, bright A-Track sound. Okay, end of a song. No crosstalk between songs means. Okay, switch tracks a bunch of times. Give me a blank spot there.
Okay, and here's our eject button. Just press that, and the tape comes out, and the radio comes back. And uh, let's test the dial light real quick. You can see the light flashing on and off in response to my command. One thing I like about this unit is it's got a little LED at the end of the tuning indicator. And, of course, when you put the cover on, that LED shines up, bounces off a mirror, and then comes out to the uh, view or to, to the listener so you can see what you're tuning in on the dial. That's kind of a neat little feature. So uh, I'm out of here. Uh, I want to thank uh, JR for his business all the way from my hometown of Springfield, Missouri. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching and listening. Uh, my phone number and uh, website are in the description below. I do ask all customers to visit my website before calling me with a bunch of questions because that's what the website's for. Uh, the less time I spend on the phone, the more time I had to put in to the quality of my workmanship on your 8-track and radio. Uh, so thanks so much for watching and listening, and we'll see you guys next time.